I like I like to always change the uh, the scenery up. My ass just got out of work, but you know I got some gems I'm about to give y'all right now. I need to learn how to keep this camera. <laughs> oh bye. All right, so I'm about to talk about uh, a couple things. All right, y'all ready? I said you have to think of your mind like a garden when you think about it like a garden and if you ever met people that actually do have gardens you got to take care of it like li literally you got to take care of it is it is it, it, it's, it's a science to it but it's also an art to it too so you have to think of the mind like that so the main question is what are you planning what, what are you planting in this garden and that's how the mind works the mind you're planting stuff in the mind <laughs> you're planting stuff in the mind all the time and obviously it's not gonna start bursting out fruits you know different type of plants all of a sudden because you know you put the seed down but that's how you have to see it. That's how you have to see your own self. Say you're super negative, you're always depressed, you don't like life, you're always sad, something's always bothering you. Well, start planting seeds. You're not gonna be like, oh, let me let me plant this in my mind to help me, you know, gain whatever. Cause you're still gonna be sad in that moment. But the more you start to feed it things every single day, eventually it's gonna literally uh, flip it's going to flip or it's going to grow into something else. If I'm keeping this analogy of the plants. So I said, um, what are you planning? Have you been nurturing it? So say you know about it. You know about this uh, garden. Have you been nurturing it? Do you look out for bad crops later during the season? So then you can have someone that's doing so good in life and they're doing so great. They're in a great mentality. You know, you hear all the time, everyone's like, oh my God, life is so great. I'm doing so awesome. But low key, it'd be external things that make them feel like that. But, you know, oh my God, life is so great, so awesome, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, life is not great. You don't hear from them. They're, they're, um, they're trapping themselves. They're isolating, isolating themselves from everybody. And that's because they're now seeing some of the bad crops in their garden. Um, when you do see those bad crops, are you pulling them out as quickly as possible? Or are you just letting them linger there until it eventually destroys the whole garden? Do you pull out the good crops on time? Now, say, you know, you're doing your thing, everything going good, you're being positive, life is great. You know, you're seeing stuff you really trying to uh, create in this world or you're really working hard are you pulling the uh, crops out on time that means are you are you ready to receive in other words the blessing that you should receive and are you ready to you know go for him and, and put it out there or share it or or um enjoy it some people don't they don't even know how to enjoy blessings that's how that's how corrupts uh, someone's garden can be the the uh crop the good crop the good uh plants the good fruits come out and they don't even know how to enjoy it because there's they're so negative do you have enough sunlight you see the components it's not just about physically planting seeds in the dirt it's it's it's, it's literally not about planting seeds in the dirt it's other it's other mechanics that go to it it's other things that um develop the process of you know these crops and you know the fruit one of them is sunlight something we, we have no control of you see how life works we have no control of that but then again it oh it's always there <laughs> that's the beauty about it it's there it's like i got gotcha. do you have enough water and when i said you have enough water another thing Look at, look at all these components that make a garden. That's how you got to see how complex uh, the mind can be. Someone's mind can be. Your mind can be. That's how complex it should be. You got to be like, oh, I need sunlight. And sunlight may signify something else. Maybe I need to put it in better soil. Maybe I need 
to add more water. Maybe I don't need to add too much. I'm drowning my plants, you know? I said, I know someone who has plenty of water though. And that would be Jesus.